Right across. Look at her. Batting her eyelids. What, you mean blinking? There's blinking and blinking. And you've not seen the way her hand's been lingering over Kirky's box tape. I'm not going to sit here and let myself become the next Cheryl Cole or Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, you are, darling. You're strong, too. Do you work out? Well, I do deliveries sometimes. I mean, do you go to the gym? you got cracking biceps. Nice. Get your stinking paws off him! And he bent yours! Come here! All right, break it up! What's going on? I thought I told you, Pear. She's at it again! She's all over my Kirky like a polyester cam. Mm, is that what he wears at home, Kinky? Stop. Just stop. I'm fed up to the back teeth with all this bickering. Well, that's all she'll have left the way she's going. This is your last warning. Leave my husband alone. Kirk, take her home now. You, my office. Come on. Get your drink for your nerves. Uh, why? He happens to be a very attractive man. <sighs> One day in the job and you bring production to a flaming standstill. I'm sorry, Dad. I was just having a laugh. I got carried away. Yeah, you did. I was worried for you poncing around in your suit and tie. I've been taping up boxes of pants all day. It's good to start from the bottom up. Oh. Literally, in this case. Well, it's just not what I saw myself doing at 25. Well, you understand, Pops. You're my girl. You're bound to be ambitious. And I promise you, you won't be doing this forever. But you've got to walk before you can run. Yes, so you can start by walking to the pub, making your peace with Beth. Oh, really? It wouldn't hurt to put her out of her misery for all our sakes. <laughs>